Once again, we saw very strong growth in the Perth market in March. We have now seen the vacancy rate in the rental market drop to a record low of 0.4%. And that's why we're seeing continued pressure in that market and rents continue to go up significantly. Also in the sales market, a continued demand is being driven by the population growth. In the year to September 2023, Western Australia recorded 93,000 population growth in just one year. Now at two and a half people per house, that's somewhere around 37,000 homes. And at the moment we're building about 17,000 homes a year. So a long way off the housing numbers we need to get back to a balanced market. Based on rework figures, we saw median house prices rise 2.5% in the month to $620,000. And we saw median unit prices sitting at $420,000. Stock on market continues to be at near record lows. We saw 3,654 properties available at the end of March. And obviously we've got an Easter period uh, over that break, but it's still around 48% lower than it was 12 months ago. Median days to sell is still eight days for houses, and that's incredible. That means half the houses are selling in the first eight days from listing, and median days to sell a unit was 10 days, also very low, just emphasizing that very strong demand that's out there in the market. The median rent for houses in Perth sits at $650 a week in March, and the median rent for units sits at $600. Number of properties advertised for rent is 1,840 at the end of March. Again, a very low number. And that's why we're seeing the vacancy rate so low and why we continue to see rents rise. That number of 1,840 sits at more than 10% below what it was in February. Median days to rent is around about 15 days at the moment. That's a, quite a quick time to rent properties. So once again, we're gonna to continue to see that pressure on the rental market and rents are gonna to continue to rise. According to Rewa, the top suburbs for growth in the month of March were Yanjabup, which was up 4%, Camillo was up 3.5%, Beerley was up 3.4%, Mount Pleasant up 3.3%, and Belmont was up 3.2%. Again, you can see a broad spread of properties, the south, the north, higher priced and lower priced, just fundamentally demonstrating the strong Perth property market that we have. With less than 4,000 properties available for sale in the Perth market, stock is incredibly tight and it's really hard to buy properties. We find that we're certainly getting a lot of opportunities off market through our networks of agents that we have, but for anybody facing the home opens at the moment, it's a real competition where we're seeing multiple people through the home opens, in some cases as much as 60 or 70, and in some cases we're hearing 20 plus offers on properties. So recently we've come out and forecast continued strong growth in the Perth property market for the next couple of years, potentially as high as 30%. Now, while it might be very competitive out there at the moment when you're at home opens, keep that in mind uh, that we do forecast strong growth in the Perth market over the next couple of years. And uh, even if you have to pay top dollar right now, uh, I think you'll find in three years time, what looks like top dollar now could be seen as a bit of a bargain. If you'd like more information on what's happening in the market or finding out more about investing in property, please give our office a call on 9221 6399 or visit our website, momentumwealth.com.au.